So the American prepared citizen, the armed Minuteman, is being targeted right now by those in power, and it should give you some ideas as to what we might expect, considering it's very early in the year 2024 for them to be trying to do this. And I'm wondering, what are they concerned about? Are they worried about what they may or may not participate in moving forward here towards the end of the year? I don't know, but this is happening and you should be aware of it because it just goes to show you that being prepared for whatever might come in a world full of conflict is frowned upon by those who are in power, regardless as to why the reasons might be justified. So we basically had over 20 state attorney generals sign onto a letter that was urging the White House to remove military grade ammunition from the civilian market. And they were specifically targeting the Lake City ammo plant and 556 NATO ammunition. Of course, this is all these different states signing on with their attorney general saying that they basically want the White House to take executive action and get this out of the public domain. Clearly an issue because in the preparedness community, we use 556 quite a bit. It's a very ubiquitous cartridge and it's very popular here in the United States for obvious reasons. Now, that's a big deal. And this is an issue because um, if they can't get your guns, they'll just try to go for the ammo, as we've seen time and time and time again. Now, this might not work, but it just goes to show you that they're willing to sign their names on this letter and say they would like to see this happen. And of course, they're using different reasons behind why they want to see this happen, and they're trying to justify it because of gun violence and everything else. And of course, we all know that there are definitely other reasons for why they'd be doing this. But hey, what do I know? Now, they're also pushing. Another narrative that's very concerning to me, but before we get into that, into that, I want to mention that Midway USA is the biggest supporter of the channel. And of course, they have everything you might need when it comes to being a prepared citizen or a Minuteman. So I really appreciate Midway USA supporting my channel and supporting people like us getting out there and being prepared as we can be for whatever may come. Well, here's a weird thing that's happening right now, too. Congressional Democrats introduced a bill. I believe there's two Democrats who signed on to this. One is from Maryland, and I believe the other one was from Massachusetts. And they basically want to prohibit any unauthorized private paramilitary activity. Well, what does that mean? Well, these are blanket statements that they're trying to push through that could easily affect somebody like myself or anyone in the preparedness community that does any level of training with more than one individual, right? So why is that? Well, let me go through what it is they're exactly trying to prohibit. And this should give you an idea as to what they're trying to stop you from doing and what they might, I don't know, be concerned about. Like, I don't know what else to think here, but I'm also going to tell you what we can do about it. And um, anyway, <laughs> all right, here's what they want you to not be able to do. Publicly patrol drill or engage in techniques capable of causing bodily injury or death. Okay. Well, I think uh, the drill aspect is definitely problematic considering you could cons basically call any level of training a drill of sorts now, can't you? And uh, yeah, shooting at a silhouette target would definitely uh, engage in techniques capable of causing bodily injury or death considering what it is they're trying to apply here. It doesn't have to be something that's, you know, simulated or anything along those lines. They can apply this in a blanket way to whatever type of training that they want to in the sense of the techniques that you're learning, right? Now, the second thing that they want to prohibit you from doing is interfere with, interrupt, or attempt to interfere with, or interrupt government operations or government proceedings. Not really sure why they threw that in there as number two, um, when apparently they're worried about people engaging in paramilitary activity. They're targeting militias. They're targeting... Minuteman, and they're targeting the prepared citizen. Even if you don't affiliate with a militia or anything along those lines, you're still going to qualify for what they're trying to stop you from being able to do, right? With the force of the law. Now, the third thing that they want to prohibit, interfere with or intimidate another person in that person's exercise of any right under the Constitution. I find that one to be interesting because this entire concept is trying to eliminate your ability to exercise your right as a prepared citizen, especially regarding the Second Amendment. So, um, but they don't want you to be able to stop anyone else from exercising their rights because of being part of some sort of organization. All right. And then the last thing, uh, which I thought was also very interesting, and yes, I'm reading these just to make sure I get it correctly here. And, and some of these I abbreviated a little bit just because there's a lot of redundant 
use of words. But you're also prohibited from assuming the functions of a law enforcement officer or public official, whether or not acting under color of the law. Now, this is them basically saying that even in an emergency or in some sort of collapse type scenario, if you were to get together with your local community group, right, and try to help police your neighborhood or try to reenact some level of government within your local area after a collapse of sorts, uh, they're trying to say that you're not allowed to do that. Okay, that they don't want you doing that uh, because it's because it's not up to you. You're not a public official. You're not law enforcement. So therefore, you can't assume any of those functions. But we're talking about emergencies here where we just want to make sure our community can survive this emergency. But they're trying to stop you from being able to do that. And now the last thing is to train to engage in any activity described in paragraphs one through four. So everything I just told you, the last thing is just reiterating that if you train to do any of these things, like publicly patrol, or to assume functions of a law enforcement officer, AKA maybe law enforcement has collapsed in your city or maybe everyone disappeared in order to go back to their families or who knows what happened. Um, if you're training at all in a capacity that would allow you to assume that function in case of an emergency, they want to prohibit that. Now all this applies if or while acting as part of or on behalf of a private military organization and armed with a firearm, explosive, or incendiary device or other dangerous weapon. Now, here's the thing. Acting as part of or on behalf of a private military organization, right? That's another blanket statement type statement there where they can apply that regarding whatever it is they feel might qualify to that level which would then prohibit you from doing all the other things they're trying to introduce. Now, in my opinion, this bill is likely dead in the water, but it just goes to show you what it is they're trying to accomplish, especially at this point in time. There's no reason why it would be a bad idea for the American citizenship to get training, learn how to use firearms, learn how to treat people with first aid, learn how functions of local government work, how functions of local first responder services work and be able to assume those positions if there was an emergency situation or something was to fall apart, right? And in order to use the, the equipment, the gear, the training and everything else that is, you know, to their advantage during an emergency. All these things are reasonable for people to be trying to do right now, especially in a world that's right now at war. I mean, it, this war is only escalating. It's not improving by any means. And yet these government officials are trying their best to say, if you do these things, we're going to put you in jail. If you want this ammunition, we're going to try to take it away from you. We don't want the civilians to have 556 five, NATO coming out of the Lake City ammo plant, right? Which is ridiculous, of course, because the, it's not any more effective or anything than any other ammunition type that's out there. But of course, this is what they're going to target because they know that's what people like myself and like you use to train and in order to protect yourself with. So I think the timing is strange. And I think that we're seeing this happen now in 2024 for a couple of reasons. One is because it's an election year and one because um, they're just worried about the way things are going, in all honesty. Uh, so what is it you can do about it? Here's the thing. When the government starts saying you can't have something that in many ways you have a constitutional right to, or when the government starts... Uh, trying to stop people from networking and building community and training together as a community and being organized in a way that can respond to an emergency. Um, I guess that's, I guess, I guess you just don't care at that point. I guess that's just when you stop caring and do what we need to do because they're not here to help us anymore. They're not here to save you. If an emergency happens where any of that stuff needs to be actually occurring, do you care? 